Thank you very much, Principal, Chief Guest Manager Saab, Director Alumni, <coughs> President Soba, Rajneesh, Manjul is not here, spouses, my senior, one year senior batch, Anand Yuchi, Ajit Vora, Raviji, Sharad, Next year, SPO, Harish, came on the dais for debates and allocation. And we won prizes, represented our houses also. I'm not carrying any paper. Whatever I'll speak, I'll speak from my heart. And I'm even not prepared for it. <coughs> I would like to tell my fellow Sindhian boys who are studying here that why we came here. Today we were having introduction and interaction with each other. So many we met after 50 years. One line was common in everybody's thought. That was what we learned in the school paid us everything in our life and it made us a better humanitarian. I know all Sindhians are of same nature. This is my experience. Wherever I have gone, if I have sent my card with a Sindhya school old boy or a Sindhya school, I have been called first. This is what we enjoy. Now, coming to boys, when we were of your age and when people were talking, we always thought, and I was the one who was the first one. But trust me, many things seek confidence. And that confidence is itna aya. Ki in spite of all opposition, if I have thought to do something, I have done it. In spite of all criticism, it ended well. And if I have done it sincerely, it has ended in good work. If you have sincerity in your work, you will succeed. This is the principle. I got it from my school. And this is what I'm coming to how we gathered all this. Hum, we were very big batch. We didn't know anybody except that five, six. It was a chain. One, two, three, four, everybody start connected. We thought house, we started from house, asking each one who's left. Everybody kept on, and each one of us wanted to come here, and we are here. I must thank, we all are from here, but somebody coming from long distance is great. My friend Rakesh Bhutha has come from Japan, in spite of his not keeping too well. My friend Neeraj Mohanlal, few months back only he had a major operation. He has come all the way from with his wife. There's another friend of mine, Shamsher Beri. He has come all the way. He was the school prefect in our times. And above all, I want you to you I had the full support from everybody. I have my friend here, Ashok Lohia. Whenever I called him, he would not listen to me. He says, Anil, I am Whatever the kind of confidence I got from him. And above all, this batch was created by Mr. Raj Singh and Mr. Parshuram. These are the pioneer people, especially Parshuram, a brainy person. SNE Chief Secretary Koi Banta, Koi Na Koi Baat Hoti Hai. Brainy person and Raj Singh. From the day one, he was with me. 
he would often call me from abroad and in Calgary in my life I will never never forget that this reunion we have been there. and I tell you principal sir hum pachpan me saal me phera aenge aapko tang karne I today declare that 55th will be the same way as we have done it bhagwan kare hum jitne hai utne hi rahe hamari list 18 se aage na chale thank you after this I would like three my batchmates to come for two minutes each. One is Raj Singh, second Ashok Lohiya. Ashok Lohiya, you have to come. You are always saying that you are always saying that. Third, Shamshir Bheri. And last one, Pradosh Chakravarti, who has only come from the same place and has only come from this function. I will say two minutes, but I will not say more. But Parashuram will say that. बहुत अच्छा बोलते हैं और बहुत नॉलेजेबल हैं तो सबसे पहले मैं शमशेर को बुलाना चाहूँगा उसके बाद राज सिंह को आइए शमशेर मैं यहाँ से खड़े होके कई एलेक्शन्स और डिबेट्स किए लास्ट फोर्टी इयर्स I'm involved with nuclear power and nuclear consulting. That's quick background. But I wanted to share with you, and actually I'm surprised, um, and they didn't tell me that I'm supposed to come up here and speak. So I'm going to fake it and make it look like I knew what I was going to do. So my goal was always to come to Sindhya. I was in Shishu Mandir in Gwalior, and when I would look up towards the fort, there I would see Sindhya school. My father could not afford my being here, so I was able to uh, apply and successfully get the Government of India Merit Scholarship. And uh, my dream, when I went to the interview with Mr. Shukla, who was our principal at the time, there were three or four principals, per, per, perhaps Parshuram remembers, there was the principal from Mayo, from Delhi College, Doon and, I'm not sure Doon, but definitely Shukla Saab. And they interviewed us. At the age of 11, we were being interviewed by world famous, or at least India famous, educationists. And they asked me the question, where would you like to go if you are selected? There was no guarantee we were going to be selected. And I, of course, said, Sindhya or no other. And I was very lucky, very fortunate, and I've always said, and in fact, this morning in the introduction, I said the same thing. If I become, and, and of course, with my lovely wife, Mina, who's here, Dr. Mina Berry, uh, if I've done something successful and something well, I raised three good kids. Uh, they all believe in serving humanity. It is because of senior school. So boys, uh, and I'm sure there are a few girls, the days for our girls probably, please take it from us. This is the foundation that you will, you will relish, you will cherish for the rest of your life, just like we are doing. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure for both me and I to be here. Thanks again. Good evening, everyone. Um, I would like to uh, give my regards to all of my friends who are here, who have made this occasion, and who have come here. And of course, the school for welcoming us and making this occasion a memorable one. Uh, one of the most important things about Sindhya which I learned, and I've said that before, is that everyone here wanted to be engineers, doctors, and so on, so on, and IAS. Well, we, I thought, well, I don't think so, I may be able to do that. But then, after going from the school, I found, um, I did my graduations and all, and then I got into tourism, and tourism into wildlife and conservation, which made me travel all over India for quite some time, writing my books, and so gradually, it's, it's the adaptability to be able to do not the usual thing, but to do unusual, and that another thing, so one thing led to that, oh, this is a good thing, let's try it, your challenges. And so one of the things is the school has taught me is to take those challenges, unconventional, 
go out of the way. And with that, because I came to the school in Sarapali House, like uh, Shamshir, 60 to 63, I was there in 68. And uh, that's how we kind of, the whole thing has grown into tourism in different aspects. So one thing is that, so boys, what I can say is, you don't have to go to conventional ways, that you have to be an engineer, IAS, or IT. There are so many other fields which are available, which you, which you can actually enjoy, but it takes its own time for you to find it. So it took me a while to find it, and uh, finally, uh, today we are uh, the pioneers of something in India which is we call as river cruise tourism. Uh, for all the rivers in India, we are working on them, which was abandoned for about 100 years back. So to put all those river ships back and to start this kind of thing, even through Bangladesh and Dhaka, so these are all the challenges which are there. And Sylvia made me what I am to accept these challenges and uh, sort of move forward. One of the other things is uh, 1998, I was taking a very special train from Central India to Kanha National Park. It was the first time it's called Tarasong Wheels. Um, and I had some of the very, very known Authors. There's a, there's a person called Peter, Peter Matheson, who has um, written a lot of books on wildlife. Uh, there was Dr. E. L. Doctorow, who is a very good writer. And while going through there, I saw a school and I said, that's my school. And um, E. L. Doctorow wrote an international article in which he did mention that the Cynthia boy, that's the connection, that's the thought, which made you do what has not been done before. Because it was the first time it was ever done. So there are things, so you, you get ready for challenges in a different way, not the conventional way, and you can do that. So that's all I have to say, but thank you so much for this opportunity, and for everyone has, who has, Anil has done a phenomenal job, but then there have been others, like Parshuram. Guru Sakshat Param Dharma Tasmai Shri Guru Edama. This is the stage where I joined in 1962 in Jankoji Junior School. Graduated from Mother House. I was here for eight years. I was sent to school because I was naughty. And my parents could correct me, teach me to become what I am today. Yahan bhi aakar, sirf the stage par tabla bajaya karta tha, har games khelta tha, wo ratta jata nahi tha, pahare yaad nahi the, to arithmetic mein zero milta tha. But I was promoted, never failed. And that is the secret that you pursue what you want, and Sylvia made me what I am today. Thank you very much. Me here, Anil Ghai has ordered. So, uh, yeah, I know it's a difficult moment, and no one is as confident and as courageous as, uh, as Ashok perhaps is. Uh, as for me, I, uh, Pinsul Sahib, I start faltering when I come to my own crowd. It, I, I'm always very confident and have been always very confident speaking to the highest and the mightiest in this country, right, from the Prime Minister downwards, but when it comes to your own people, and especially these children, uh, four year, three years back, or so, I was here, just before you took over, and your worthy predecessor was the principal, and he surprised me. I attended the morning assembly, and he surprised me by asking me to come upstairs and speak to the children. And I can tell you, it's a very tough job to teach. To, you know, my wife can probably do better than I can, but nobody is inviting her. <laughs> Here, she'll have to wait her turn. But to speak to children is the toughest job on earth, and I give it to you, sir, here in school, to you and to the teachers of the school, that you really do such a great job. And when, we, when I say this, I say it on behalf of all my friends here uh, from my batch who have gathered here, because in our 
Uh, in our uh, misty eyes, as you said, uh, nostal nostalgic memories, we have memories of all those teachers who made us uh, what we are today. And I'm very conscious of the fact that if I stand here today and only a few of us are getting this opportunity, each of us actually is speaking from his heart for all the rest of us here. Anil Bhai tried very hard, uh, now this is to my, my batchmates here, Anil Bhai tried very hard to to ask many of you to come upstage and you said no, so he got hold of the last resort, he brought, brought us up all Madhavians on stage, so please don't blame us because every single one of us come on stage and Upen Gupta, you may be Chaitanya, but no, you are Madhav for us. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, with that, and I said, Principal Sahib, I, I was wondering, and my wife knows this best, that I would come and falter here, so I actually uh, wrote down my speech. Why? Because I thought I must say a few things to the young children here. Many of us bachelors here are, of course, we are all parents, and many of us are grandparents. And, and I think I want to give you, a, uh, convey to you a message, which I dare say from all of us here, is that what made us was what school made of us. And as the principal very rightly put, uh, put it in, in his few words that he spoke earlier, that it's not education that is imparted here but values are. No one stands, no teacher stands here in front of you every day and says this is right and this is not so correct. But the behavior that is expect, expected out of you, the way you are corrected if you go wrong, a misstep if you take, that's what adds to value. So my story here is about two or three values which I thought are very important for all of us. Uh, you, and I'll tell you in the end why you might feel and agree with me, what I'm going to say here. Uh, and, and I'm going to read now what I wrote down. Uh, and Anil has forewarned me. I knew I, my bachunga nahi. Amarin se dosti ki hai, to kuch musi kuto ka saamna mujhe karna hi padta hai. To mai isi ye bhopal se parso hi likke laya hai. And it reads like this. It sets me wondering what I should speak to you today, especially when I'm, I'm sure many fine people have spoken to you already. And I'm addressing the children now. As indeed have your own teachers here at school. My own time, children, here at school, I was in many ways a wonderstruck kid, and Shamsher uh, mentioned about this, who had come from small town Madhya Pradesh, who went back every vacation, yes, back to the same small town and met my own old friends. Because they continued to be in the same school that I had left in Itarsi to join Sindhya school. The first lesson which I learned was on humility. Much as I was here in a fine school and, a very f and with very fine teachers, my friends there continued to go to the same school. I had gone earlier with them, and yet they were very friendly, never jealous, despite sometimes being in awe of the fact that I was attending the Sindhya school. And my mother actually had warned me of this. And, and, and I thought, and I didn't fully appreciate it then, but much, much later I did. She said, Beta, ye ma sojde ra, tum Sindhya school ja rahe ho, to tumhare sar pe do singh hai. You have to prove yourself. So humility is an attribute that must stay with us always. In success and during adversity. It makes us learn to be great team players and given the opportunity, also make us good leaders. So that's the first thought I thought I must reinforce in your mind that humility and gratitude is something which must always stay with us. Many of you are very young now. Maybe the import of these words may not fully register on you, but when time passes, I'm sure you'll appreciate this more and more. The second thought which comes to me today is what my father wrote in my first autograph book. He wrote, live simple, but think high. What's more, not having known what he had written, my housemaster, Mr. Khar, and my friends probably don't know this, wrote the same very words several months later in the same autograph book. And it has always therefore stayed with me, these words, live simple but think high. At that time, I didn't fully appreciate the import of this, again, once again. But, but later on, I realized that in today's world, where a lot of comfort and pleasure comes our way than ever before, the past generation never had it so good like we are having, and like you children hopefully will have even better than us. Always try and have the ability to postpone the gratification. 
The immediate gratification has been caught. Don't start going just because a small success has come your way, just because you earned some money, just because you have you've done well in an exam. That's not the end of the world. It's a long, long haul to prove yourself better. Imagine, a, imagine someone like maybe a Steve, jo uh, Steve, uh, what's his name, the yeah. Apple gentleman, Steve yeah. Jobs, and or 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 even Mahatma Gandhi. I mean, if they had rested on their laurels, if Mahatma Gandhi had come back from South Africa and said, no, I've done enough now, I'm also known as a good lawyer, let me set up a flourishing uh, practice in Mumbai, where would the leader for Indian independence have come from? Uh, what would all, I, I, all, and look at the house of Tata, I mean, why, why should we talk of only people who have done abroad, well abroad? Uh, look at the way the successive, the succeeding generations of Tatas have actually contributed to the Tata Trust, which can do good work for others. So similarly, it's important for us to realize that immediate pleasures, momentary pleasures, is not what is important, but to prepare ourselves for, for, for the long haul, so that we do well, we continue to do well. These other small pleasures will always come our way. That's the second point I thought I must make to, to uh, uh, emphasize before you. Choose the tough road. Develop the skills and ability that can bring you satisfaction in what you do. And lastly, and this is about character, be sincere and kind to those around you. Be truthful and clear in your mind that means are important, means are extremely important, if not more than the ends. This, that is the success you achieve, the way you do things, not merely the goals you attain. We live in a very complex and competitive world Every night when you go to sleep, head on your pillow, knowing what you did that day was the right way to do it, and I promise you, you will be a happy human being. These are not easy thoughts to follow or to emulate. I have faltered in pursuing them time. She is in many ways my moral compass on, on, on lots of things I do. And so might you. You might falter. You might you're very fortunate, you're extremely fortunate to come to this beautiful, lovely school. So make the most of it. Listen to what your teachers have to say. I was grounded. When I, was, when I came here, I was always flying high. And I had the Sindhya Senior School, Mr. I was very fortunate to have Mr. Khar as my housemaster. And I was extremely fortunate and he helped me, he grounded me totally and that has helped me every single day of my life without him. So gentlemen, children, what I'm trying to tell you is that what your teachers tell you, don't take, listen to them carefully, listen to them seriously and learn from them. Imbibe the values. Mr. Parshuram has already mentioned a lot of things. These are things to be imbibed. It is not the end, it is the means how you achieve it. One thing that I was not taught here when I was in Sindhya was that, so gentlemen, boys, I'm talking to you, please pay attention. Whatever your teachers, I'll just summarize very quickly. Whatever your teachers, listen to them carefully, don't laugh. Don't listen, not listen from one ear and take it out from the other ear. Somebody mentioned here, don't do that. Pay attention to what they are saying. Pay attention to the means, not important. The end, of course, is important. We all need to be successful and correct. But the means is also extremely important. Follow the right path and be humble in life. We follow simplicity. You have a simple living like our forefathers, Mahatma Gandhi. Simple living. And that's all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Barons, president, past, present, future. Future is not here. Ladies who accompany students, next of kin. I hope I've covered everyone. Well, definitely we couldn't uh, let the Madhav party continue. So, <laughs> <laughs> he had to get crashed. There was no way.
<laughs> yeah. And also, you know, with all due respect to all my batchmates here, who together, all of us, we represent more than 2,000 years of experience, more than 2,000 years of success, of mistakes, of failures, of learnings. But be it as it may, time never stands still, and we have to move on. So yeah, it was great listening to Upendra and Parsuram talking about the evergreen values, which is great if we do, and God help those who don't. <laughs> Nevertheless, the fact is, that what we have in the crowd here, the present crop of Sindhya students, all of you live in a very different world from the one that we grew up in. You're all digital natives at a time when we didn't know what digital meant. Just today, while coming up your white hearty, somebody was telling me a fact which I should have known long ago, and maybe Parsuram does, which is that zero, sifa, what is it, uh, shunya, is inscribed. The first place in this world where shunya is inscribed is at the Man Singh Palace. Wow. And what better place to get an education than one where the shunya itself came to be recorded forever for posterity. Being a Jayajian, this is not really the place where one should be talk about being a Jayajian, but just one thing, and which was that every time we climbed up to our dormitories, there was no way we could escape what was written right in front of our eyes. Where the head is held high and the mind is without fear. And then it goes on, the goal goes on and where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert. I think that just says, sums up everything. And it's something which sits in our mind. And it will happen to all of you. It will happen in the digital age. Just a few facts to be prepared for. Next year in 2020, 72% of the workforce in the U.S. will work by remote. It will not be many years later that the same will come to pass in India. Thank you, sir, for your words of wisdom.
Vice Principal, officers from the Central Sova, all of them, boys, my batchmates, आप लोग इतनी इतनी दूर से स्पेशलिस्ट ओकेजन के लिए आए हैं बॉयज हु हैड परफॉर्म्ड हियर एंड स्पेशल थैंक्स टू डायरेक्टर एजोली हु हैज लेफ्ट नो प्लेस वेयर ही कुड नॉट कीप अस बिजी वेयर ही कुड नॉट एंटरटेन अस वेयर ही कुड नॉट फिट अस सम ऑफ द बॉयज हु आई वांट टू गिव माय ग्रैटिट्यूड जिन्होंने इस प्रोग्राम को बनाने में मदद करी और यहां तक पहुंचाने में आई फॉर्गोट टू टेल यू आई डोंट नो फिफ्टी ईयर्स पहले गूगल कैसे होता था बट माई फादर डिड इट वी लिव इन अ वेरी स्मॉल प्ले ओनर्स टू डे द मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ऑफ टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया हु हैव ऑल्सो हैव टू बिलोंग टू देम बट सिंधिया स्कूल का नाम इसकी परफ्यूम इतनी दूर तक थी कि गूगल आ जाया और मेरे फादर ने इतने साल पहले गूगल से यस आई वाज आल्सो थैंक यू बिकॉज आई वाज वेरी नॉट एंड देर वाज नो स्कूल देयर टू स्टडी थैंक यू वेरी मच माय बैचमेट्स एंड आई स्टिल से थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू माय स्कूल हु मेड मी अ कंप्लीट पर्सन वट एवर आई कुड डू इन दिस माई लाइफ my school has a big role in play and that is confidence which i got it thank you very much all my batch boards who helped me without naming a single person each one of them and my special thanks to spouse group so this time we made a spouse group also who interacted each other sitting at one house with each of them so they know each other and we are going to publish yes batch mates we are going to publish a directory of 68 69 batch of complete 88 89 batch mates thank you once again my special thanks to my wife who has really supported me and she always cared for it and she always insisted do this nicely do this rightly this way and today also she was saying सब माधव के मत लो हमारे पास टाइम है बिकॉज वी हैव कैंसिल आफ्टर लंच शाम का सारा प्रोग्राम कल का हमने कैंसिल कर दिया है द मानसिक प्रोग्राम लाइट एंड साउंड स्टेज दिस इवनिंग द फोर्थ राउंड जो हमने सब आपको दिखाना है यहाँ पे क्या क्या हिस्टोरिकल प्लेसेस हैं सास बाहू का टेम्पल तेरी की लाश वो बस से हम कल लंच के बाद दिखाएंगे आफ्टर द शॉपिंग एंड यू हैव एम्पल ऑफ टाइम उसको देख के कल हम वापस जाएंगे सो थैंक यू माय फ्रेंड्स माय स्पेशल थैंक्स टू एवरीबडी कालकटा भोपाल इंदौर अहमदाबाद बड़ौदा दिल्ली नोएडा गुड़गांव थैंक यू एवरीबडी also so <laughs> i'm not being a batch so i'm getting out of the batch and getting out of the mother house and getting out of the jail house just wanted to introduce you ah uh, host for the evening you all would be knowing he is the grandson of mr khan so that's the ranu ji has connection and finally he went out to jaipur you know we don't you know, get into this whole house business ki ek house hai usi mein chipke raho so ranu ji and father want to jaipur
Good evening, sirs and ma'am. It gives me immense pleasure and honor to welcome each one of you to the Atma Chintan Center of our school, the Astachal. Each day we sit here, we meditate and contemplate on the successes and failures that we have had throughout the day. This place is one of the most important places of our school. And with your presence, ladies and gentlemen, today's gathering looks like an adhyatmic satsang. As you dive into your old memories and the beautiful serene of this place, as you can see, I would like to tender my gratitude once again on behalf of the entire school. Thank you. Good evening to one and all present. Today I would like to present before you a motivational quote. There's a prison that has an inmate form without any physical barrier. But it is the most effective prison in the whole world. Few escape it, but some do find real and lasting freedom. That prison is in our minds. It is a prison that holds back our initiative, our talent, our ability to express ourselves. And most of all, it holds back the fulfillment of our full potential as human beings. That prison is fear. Our lives today are controlled by fear more than we know. Fear controls the choices we make, our actions, our habits, and even our destinies. In its extremes, fear in our personal lives causes anxiety and phobias. Fear will paralyze you if you do not deal with it. It will absolutely stop you from living a life that you desire. Recognize it and conquer it. Roosevelt's advice is that you gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you will be stopped to look fear in your face. You must do the thing which you think you cannot do. Artist, fashion designer, or whatever else you want to do. Sure, you might fail, but you might succeed too. Take the risk today and conquer your fears. Do you want to look back years from now and think, I could have, I might have, and I should have? That is a sad way to live your life. Use your life wisely. Free your mind from fear and worry, and go for it. Thank you.
आप सभी को शुभ संध्या मैं आप सबके समक्ष हिंदी की एक प्रेरक कविता पढ़ने जा रहा हूँ कविता का शीर्षक है तो खिला सकती है क्षण भर की हिम्मत जीत का एहसास दिला सकती है वे लोग जो असफलता से निराश हो अंधकार में जी रहे हैं एक छोटी सी मुस्कान कितने ही दीप जला सकती है इस दुनिया में कष्ट से कोई नहीं अछूता है किसी न किसी दुख से भरी गागर है हंसकर सहो तो कड़वी बूंदों के कुछ घूट हैं रोकर सहो तो दुखों का एक विशाल सागर है जब असफलता की चोट लगे गहरी तो सारा साहस बटोर कर एक मुस्कुराहट ला सकते हो हारे हुए मन को जीने का साहस दिलाकर जीने की एक वजह से मिला सकते हो तुमसे कोई जीवन की सीख ले सकता है तुम्हें देखकर कोई और भी जी सकता है गम को कभी कमजोरी ना बनने देना अपनी आंखों को कभी नम ना होने देना यहाँ जीवन जीकर सभी को मरना है दो वक्त की रोटी से अपना पेट भरना है फिर तकलीफों से क्यों डरता है दोस्त भला निराश होकर भी क्या करना है धन्यवाद